Good evening, everyone. I hope you're having a great evening. I'm so excited to be welcoming you to our Know Before You Go for SHIP National Convention. I am Nicole Noter. I'm the Senior Director of Conferences and Events, and I am so excited with my team and everyone else on the SHIP staff to welcome you to Salt Lake City in uh, just a few uh, short days, it feels like. So tonight we're gonna go through a presentation. I'm gonna share with you some information about what to expect for um, convention. And then at the end, we'll have some questions. If you want to, you can add your questions to the Q&A tab or to the chat. Uh, I have team members who are gonna be monitoring that for me while we're um, going. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, no before you go. All right, so the first group of people that you're gonna meet, and I hope you get the chance to meet while you're on site, is the ship staff. We love meeting our members. So please uh, make sure and stop and say hi, introduce yourself, let us know uh, where you're coming in from. Um, the ship staff, they'll um, be on site and you'll notice um, they'll be wearing Navy polos on Wednesday and Thursday. We have some long sleeve black button up shirts on Friday and business professional on Saturday. But how do I know who's a staff member? They're gonna have a name badge with lanyard and a ribbon on it that says staff. So that way you can uh, point them out. Who else will you be meeting on site? Our board of directors and our regional leaders will also be on site. Love meeting you, would be happy to engage with you. And um, just make sure and look out for their name badge. They will also have a ribbon um, that attached to their name badge holder designating their role. And in addition to all of those, if that's not enough, we have 90 ship members who are serving on the convention committee. They are volunteers. Many of them take their vacation time, come serve on the committee, and this is their way of giving back to make sure everyone has a wonderful time at convention. So please take the time to thank them, appreciate them. They have worked really hard this year uh, to make sure that you have the most amazing event. So where's convention being held? If you haven't figured it out yet, we're in Salt Lake City, Utah. Fun fact for you, did you know Utah is known as the beehive state? That's why we have bees and the whole bee theme with everything that we're doing this year, we're honoring our, our host state and city where we're going to be. The actual venue is called the Salt Palace Convention Center. And I put the address up on the screen for you. There's also additional events that will be at the Hyatt Regency Salt Lake City, which is at, connected to the center. So literally you walk through a doorway and you'll be in one or the other. So what can you do to prepare before you arrive? Here's a few things. The first thing is to verify your resume is uploaded to the online career center. Many of the companies are already in there looking at your resumes reaching out to you, setting up um, interviews. So Wednesday, that first day, there are many people who will already be having interviews and the way they found those and pre-set up those interviews is their resume was in the online career center. If you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out to someone on the website. They'll be happy to help you um, get your resume up there. And did you register with your promo code? For those of you who have bulk registrations, make sure you've gone in, use your promo code, and uh, make sure that everything will be all set for when you're on site. You wanna check in with your chapter for any last minute instructions. Many of you are coming as a chapter group. So do you have certain dress codes, group meetups, things like that? Make sure and check in with your chapter leaders for what your particular group is gonna do. Make sure to verify what hotel you're staying at and how you're getting from the airport to the hotel. Could be Lyft or Uber. Um, did you download those apps already? If not, you wanna make sure and do that. And also Salt Lake City has what's called their tracks or light rail system from the airport. If you're going from the airport to downtown Salt Lake City, 
the cost for that is $2.50. And then once you're in downtown Salt Lake City, the light rail actually goes around downtown and it is free, they told us. Did you let your professors know that you would be at convention and not in class? We've already had a few people reach out to us say, I'm gonna be there at convention, but I can't miss this test. I need a proctor. We actually do offer that service. Um, so you just have to let us know and we'll try to connect you with someone who can be your proctor on site so you don't miss that exam. And then you're gonna to wanna to download the Cvent mobile app and then search for SHIP 2023. Coming up in a few slides, we're gonna actually walk through what's going on with the mobile app this year as we do have a new one. So um, if you haven't done that already, try to download that. We're gonna do that all together. And then research the workshops and companies. You can look at them on the website and the mobile app. Um, make sure to um, check out what's there. Try to build your schedules. So traveling to convention and your arrival. When you arrive to Salt Lake City, you're gonna use, again, the Lyft or Uber, or maybe that tracks to get um, from the airport to the hotel, drop off all your stuff, get ready. Um, and then registration this year opens at 8 a.m. Mountain Time, Salt Lake City is in Mountain Time, on Wednesday, November 1st in Hall E. We're opening up early to make sure everyone has plenty of time to get in, and we actually start sessions and workshops this day. Upon entry to the convention center, this is new this year, there will be a security checkpoint. So be prepared. We um, have a brand new system that should be very efficient, but there may be a line, so just be prepared for that. Um, and then once you get inside, there may be additional lines, depending on how many people are getting their badges at the time that you're there. There will be um, volunteers and staff directing you. So if you're not sure where to go, Make sure and ask someone, they'll be happy to direct you. When you get to Hall E and check in, you're going to get your badge, a badge holder, a lanyard, and a convention bag. So all of those will be that in that Hall E area. Navy blue is the undergrad lanyard color this year, and baby blue is the professionals and graduates. That's those masters and PhDs. Um, those are their lanyard colors. Uh, the good news is this year, Everyone in those groups will have the same color. Um, I'm going to get to the career fair entry, but just know that I know um, those of you who may have come before are like, oh, I need one color or the other. This year, you all get one color. Uh, bring your confirmation email. You should have received a confirmation email uh, from the registration system. If you haven't seen that yet, uh, make sure and check your spam. We've heard from a lot of people it is ending up in their spam email boxes or um, your mobile app actually does have a place in there with a QR code, and all you have to do is pull that up. You'll scan it really quick at the self-serve check-in desk, but should you have any trouble, registration staff will be there to assist you. And then when you pick up your confirmation or convention bag, sorry, um, if you could just help us out by moving quickly out of the way. I know it's exciting. You're getting um, things in there, you want to get everything together, but uh, we have to move a lot of people in a very quick fashion. So once you have your bag, there'll be plenty of area to move over to the side. New this year, there will be a ticket booth for select event tickets. I am going to go through that process in a little bit, um, but that will be right next to the bag pickup area. And then enjoy convention. We want you to tag us in your pictures and social media using the hashtag SHIP2023. We'd love to see uh, what you put out there and what you find uh, exciting while you're at convention. So let's talk a little bit about the convention lanyard and your badge. So you'll get a badge holder that your badge will slip into. Um, these are what your lanyards will look like. They have two little holders, you'll clip them on there and your badge is gonna slip into this holder. If you'll notice, I have an example of a badge here. You'll see your name, your chapter, your personal pronouns, if you've identified those, along with a QR code. That QR code will be uh, what some um, people will scan you at different events or um, companies, if they're tracking you that way, they will scan your QR code. On the back side, which is kind of the top of this badge here, it'll fold in half. So just above the logo, you're gonna see a fold area. It'll fold in half. 
there's a QR code to our ship link tree. We have a lot of different um, areas there, so you can scan that. And then just below that, there'll be a box there. So if you have an emergency contact you wanna put there, just in case something happens, feel free to write that in there um, just in case you need it. All right, right now I'm gonna ask you all to take out your phone. Hopefully you're not on the webinar on your phone, but if you are, you can um, do this later. We will have this uh, posted for you, but you're gonna to wanna to take out that phone and open the Cvent app now. I did add QR codes to the um, Apple Store or the Android so that you can download for whichever phone that you have. Another little fun fact, did you know that Nike and Nissan are the mobile app sponsors this year? So what can you do with the new mobile app this year? You'll have your profile there. You can upload your picture, make sure you're visible to everyone. You can connect with other attendees um, on the mobile app, and you can also send them messages. All of your surveys for sessions you'll pull up once you have your schedule that you've built. Uh, let's say you're going to a session, maybe one of our Shiptina sessions or our inclusion session. Uh, add it to your schedule. Once you add it to the schedule, um, then when you're in that session, you'll see the survey button at the bottom of that session. You do have to actually go into the session to see the survey button and add it to your schedule. When you go in the first time, it will ask you, hey, I need you to verify. It will send you a code. It'll send it to your email as well as your cell phone. So that way you can get your verification code. New this year, we have discussion groups. You'll see an area on the mobile app for discussion groups. Right now, a discussion is going on with uh, check-in, how to um, connect on LinkedIn and provide that. Uh, we'll have other discussion topics once we're on site at convention. Maps are also available. There will be maps for the convention center, the Hyatt Regency meeting space, as well as the exhibit floor and the interview hall. So if you're trying to figure out where to go, find those, uh, take a look at that maps area. And again, we have the agenda there. You can filter by days, by categories, um, all sorts of different filters on there. So um, feel free to check it out. Let us know what you think about it. We would really love your feedback. If you're looking for particular speakers, you can see their uh, headshot as well as their bio there. Many of our speakers are still getting that in there. So if you don't see something, just know they probably haven't uploaded it yet. And then our exhibitors and sponsors, uh, you can search on them in there get to know a little bit about them. They have their profile information as well as see what sessions they might be sponsoring or where you might see them. And then notifications. On site, we do um, periodically send out mobile app notifications. Uh, let's say a session cancels or has to move or something else is going on uh, that we don't want you to miss. Just be aware of those notifications and through the mobile app, you can also send messages. So I can send a message to someone um, and it stays within that mobile app. All exciting new things with our new convention app this year. All right, now you're on site. What can you be doing now? Uh, we have workshops all of the days of convention. That includes uh, starting that Wednesday. We have workshops that day. And if it's your first time there, you might wanna try out the convention readiness session. This is a um, session specifically for those who are first time attendees. I understand there's so much going on. How do you know what to do? Um, this is presented by your peers as well as Chevron, our sponsor. They're gonna help you figure out how to make the most from the sponsorship side as well as your peer side to make sure that you as a first time attendee have uh, not that overwhelming feeling and how to get the most out of convention. Uh, right now, again, you can go in there, create a whole schedule, figure out all the sessions you wanna attend, start adding them and build that in and it will alert you and create your own personal schedule. We also have a meet and greet with our Star Award winners. We have amazing Star Award winners. I know I say that every year, but truly they are. Um, and we wanted to give you some sessions so you could get to know them a little bit more. They'll be talking as well as answering your questions. There are two sessions this year, one on Thursday and one on Friday. 
to take a look at that and try to capture um, or join one of those sessions so that you can get some time with them. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't forget our opening ceremony, which is on Wednesday, and our national meeting, which is on Thursday. There will be prizes handed out at both of those, but you do need to be present to win. So take some time, come to both our opening ceremony, which is very high energy, lots going on, and then our national meeting. Find out what's going on with SHIP, as well as what you can expect over the next year. And then our hospitality suites are on Wednesday and Thursday night. That's with our corporate sponsors. They will be assigned to rooms there at the convention center. And this year, um, due to space um, modifications, there will be lines up in rooms next to most of the suites. So make sure and check out the signage. There'll be lots of security staff, volunteers, company reps, helping you navigate where to go. Um, but we have a whole bunch of them on Wednesday as well as Thursday. And then on Thursday, we also have our professional showcase, which is for professional and graduates, and then our advanced degree showcase. So lots going on at that time. Make sure and make the rounds if you can. Uh, we do have ticketed events, and all of those ticket events for meals will have standby lines. So let's say you haven't gotten a ticket a lot of you have asked, hey, I should be able to go in there. We actually are doing tickets on site this year. And in a little bit, I'm going to go through a slide of how to um, get tickets for those events. And we have lots of photo opportunities for you. So they will not all be in one place. So make sure and look around the center because we have them placed all around. Want to give you plenty of photo opportunities. And just a reminder to make sure and wear your lanyard and badge at all times. That way people know um, who you are, as well as security um, will know what access you have. Also on site, um, we'll be in Salt Lake City. It's in the mountains, a little bit cooler than maybe what you're expecting. So we will have a complimentary coat check on site. It will be located in Hall E. And um, just know that we'll try to take as many as possible. But for those of you who might want to um, leave your coat or even a bag, uh, we will have that available for you. Also in Hall E this year, there will be free eye exams and 200 SHIP members besides those eye exams are going to leave with new glasses in hand. This is from our sponsor, VSP. They're going to be making the glasses on site. So there, just know that there'll be a QR code coming out. Uh, check out the know before you go email and there'll be a way to sign up for those. Those of you who don't um, possibly get an eye exam or get an appointment for all that, just know that at their VSP booth, they will be handing out coupons to get eye exams and glasses when you go back home. So make sure and stop by and see them. Art interview hall. So we have our career fair hall, then also our interview hall. That interview hall is for pre-scheduled interviews only. Uh, don't try to walk in there and find a company to set up an interview. That's not how this goes. Only pre-scheduled interviews. And again, that comes from either them finding your resume or maybe you've met with them in the career fair booth and they've set you up for an interview. And just note, there is a check-in and check-out survey. Uh, there'll be a QR code that you can scan with your phone or your iPad. It's a quick survey. We just need you to take on the way in and out. So just make sure and allow for extra time for that. We do have a study hall on site. There is a group area. So if you are working with a group, uh, want to study in that area, or there's a room for a quiet area. And again, that's where those proctor exams will be held. Um, there's a variety of refresh and recharge areas, as well as lounges. Um, they uh, mostly will have water coolers. There will be snacks available at select times and charging stations in those areas if you need them. One thing to note is, again, we're in the Salt Palace Convention Center, but there are some events at the Hyatt Regency that is connected. So make sure and take a look at the uh, location that you have. We've tried to note it in the mobile app, but want to make sure you don't get lost or um, trying to look for a room that might be in one of the other buildings. And then regional lounges. This is new for this year. On that Saturday, 
If you need a break from the career center, want to go meet your regional leaders, have some time with your region, all day on Saturday, you'll have regional lounges. There'll be rooms assigned in the mobile app. You can go have time in your regional lounges. There'll be seven rooms. So make sure and take some time to go over there, say hi, and really get some time um, with your regional leaders. And then don't forget about our closing celebration. On Saturday, after you've had this amazing time at convention, we're gonna celebrate the end of that with our snow fest. Um, this is open to everybody. You don't need a ticket. You will need to wear your badge because your badge for convention is your ticket. But it's just a great time to celebrate. We'll be announcing our Academic Olympiad winners, whoever's competed in that. Um, so we're excited to welcome them, as well as our t-shirt. Um, we're doing a um, campaign through our Mercado with uh, t-shirt submissions. Those winners of who's won that will be announced at the closing celebration. And then make sure and meet new people to widen your network. This is an opportunity to meet new people. Um, it's the largest gathering of Hispanics in STEM, so I'm sure you're gonna find some common ground with somebody around there. All right, uh, coming back to the career fair. So this year, the career fair is gonna be on two different days. The first day is Friday, November 3rd. The career fair is going to be open from 8.30 a.m. until 12 noon. Then on Saturday, we'll have the career fair all day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So two different days. Everybody goes in at the same time. There's no early entry, no early access. Everybody lines up at the same time. The lineup, you are allowed to line up one hour prior to opening. And the lineup for that will all happen in Hall E. Um, also this year, we'll have some golden tickets. This is something we started last year. So you'll see select um, staff members as well as C-suite, um, our chief executive suite. They will have some golden tickets as well as they will be available um, in different events. They might be in the workshops, um, things like that. So um, really just know that they will be available, they will be random. And um, if you happen to get this golden ticket, this will actually be like a fast pass at Disneyland. There's a special line for our golden ticket winners, um, but there is a time that you need to be there. So on Friday, you need to be in line no later than eight o'clock and on Saturday in line no later than 9.30. If you aren't there by that time, Unfortunately, you will have to go in line uh, with everyone else and go to the regular career fair line. And this is valid for a one-time use only to the career fair. So let's say you get one, you're gonna um, turn it in on Friday. You don't get another one for Saturday. Um, and then this is not for company lines. So just know the golden ticket gets you early in line to the career fair. But once you're in the career fair, that's for everybody. The golden ticket does not apply for the company lines. All right, meal tickets and lines. We do have a new plan this year. We have a new system, new registration system and everything. So um, we do have a new system for our tickets. It will not print out with your badge, but there will be a booth in the Hall E. It's right across from registration. And on a first come first serve basis, there will be tickets available to select events. We'll hand out tickets, one per person, until they are all exhausted. Um, and some events will be limited to professionals and graduates only. So if we're asking you, we will check your badge to make sure what category you are. Um, that way, if there's an event that needs a ticket that's only to one of those, we will be providing that. All meal events will have a standby line. So let's say you didn't get a ticket, but you really wanted to go to the luncheon or um, to our STEM luncheon or to our Star Awards dinner, please note there will be a standby line and we'll do our best to get everyone in. Um, and that means that those with tickets must be in their seat by five minutes prior to start time. If you're not, you will forfeit your seat. We'll start filling the room with standby line availability until room capacity is met. There are some sponsored lunches on Friday. So those will have tickets that are handed out by company reps, more like an invitation. So they may hand it out during their workshops or their interviews or their career fair 
booth on Friday. So just know that some sponsors will have a select number of tickets, but again, all of those will have a standby line available. So um, hopefully, either from Thursday or Friday, there are plenty of opportunities to have um, a complimentary lunch. And there are some box lunch events. And I know the question will be, well, wait, do I need a ticket for that, Nicole? The answer is no. Um, box lunch events do not require tickets. We have some on Thursday, and then we have some professional ones on Friday. All right, inclusive behaviors. One of the things I want to go over tonight is about inclusion. This is one of SHIP's core values. We call it familia. And by practicing these inclusive behaviors, we each have the power to create welcoming spaces where every individual can belong, feel safe, be seen, feel valued, and thrive. Somos familia, we are ship. I know it's our chant um, as a whole, but we all live and breathe this every day as staff members, as um, ship members, everyone, even our exhibitors who come. You will see signs for our inclusive behaviors around the center. You'll also see them maybe in workshops. This is going to be around. So take the time, read them. Um, please uh, exhibit them. We want to make sure everyone has a safe and positive experience. Some helpful reminders. So another fun fact, did you know that SHIP is turning 50 next year? It is going to be a huge year next year. So a lot will be coming um, and we'll be announcing this during our national meeting. So if you want to know what's going to be happening, um, just know that um, the national meeting is the place to be when you want to hear more about that. So just a reminder, make sure to review the SHIP Code of Conduct. You are representing SHIP on site, um, but if you observe someone not following uh, what's going on, please alert either someone on the on-site support team, security, committee staff, or if you see a flashing lanyard on someone, they're an on-site volunteer. Any of those people can reach someone who can assist you. Feel free to reach out. We're here to help. Dress to impress. You never know who you'll cross paths with. You could be sharing an elevator next to someone on an escalator. You just never know who you're going to meet. Don't forget to be on time to your scheduled events or interviews. Be positive and engaging. And don't uh, forget about safety first. If you see something, say something. Again, we want everyone to have a good experience at convention. All right, some ship life hacks. Um, these are some tips and tricks we've gathered from people. Um, this is to help you have a good experience on site. Stay hydrated. We're up in the mountains a little bit higher. Um, a lot of the things you can experience in Salt Lake, it might be a little bit drier for some people. Um, there are water coolers, so bring that refillable bottle. If you don't have one, guess what? Our Mercado has some. So stop by the Mercado to get a new ship water bottle. But there are water coolers available throughout the center, so feel free to use them as you need to. Don't forget to eat. And if you're trying to figure out where you can eat, this um, convention center doesn't have a food court, but there are concession stands. They will be throughout the center. So, and they will be available all day with a variety of pricing and options, as well as there are some places close to the center, not as many, but um, those are also available to you. But I know people don't always like to go away, which is why we have the concession stands for you. Be mindful when you're walking to and from the center. I know it's a new city. Maybe some of you aren't used to traveling. So try to walk in pairs or groups. If you truly uh, don't have someone, you're worried, uh, just let us know. We'll try to help you uh, make sure you get back to where you're going. Always have your badge on you for security purposes or you will maybe get stopped for entry. But when you're in public, make sure and take that badge off. Um, that way people don't know that you're there. Um, for that convention, showing off that you're an out-of-town person, maybe. Um, don't forget to take your phone and laptop chargers with you. Um, nothing worse than making having your phone and then you don't have a cord to charge it with. Don't forget those comfortable shoes. Yes, you're wearing suits. A lot of you um, are walking around, but this center is spread out really far. 
So lots of walking will be done that week. Uh, I'd love to hear, uh, maybe post on social media, who walked the most steps. Um, sleep when you can. Just remember it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's four days of jam-packed fun and excitement. And then don't forget to save rooms for goodies. Um, the career fair and some of the workshops, people are handing out all sorts of swag and things like that. So save a little space for that. And then also for our Mercado, we have new things that are going to be in there. So you might want to come home with some of those. Um, for those of you who've never traveled or don't travel often, we have some helpful hints for hotel travelers. Um, make sure and have your hotel confirmation. Uh, so if you've made a reservation through our new system this year, or if you made it direct with the hotel, you should have a confirmation number. So make sure and have that handy because they might ask you when you check in at the desk. Have everyone who's registered for the room check in together. So let's say you have a roommate or maybe there's a few of you sharing your room. It is easier um, if you have everyone there or make sure everyone's name is there if um, someone's coming later. Do not do roommate swaps at the check-in. Uh, it does kind of slow things down. So if you have any swaps that you need to do, try to do that prior to traveling or at least before you get to the check-in desk. And just a reminder, the hotel will require a credit card, debit card, or cash deposit. And the average price sent tends to be $50 per night. So um, that's for incidentals. If you don't use any incidentals, don't charge anything to your room then you'll get that money back. Um, but it's also good to determine who will be responsible. So if you're checking as a group, one of you is gonna have to put that deposit down. And if you're using a credit or debit card for the deposit, a hold will be placed for that total amount. So let's say you're staying there for four nights, that's gonna be $50 times four. So that total amount will be held on your card and it could take up to 10 days following departure for that hold to go off. Maybe you didn't use anything and it'll all come back, but depending on your bank, it'll take a little bit of time for that to happen. And if you're using cash for that incidental deposit, uh, any amount not used, again, will be refunded at checkout. Some other helpful tips. Remember sound carries, so try to speak softly or in normal tone when walking through the hotel hallways. Hotel doors slam very easily, so try to avoid letting that door close on its own. And most hotels expect quiet time between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. as a courtesy to other guests. I know many of the hotels will have lots of our members um, and everyone in there, but 10 p.m., typically that's the time. So if you're partying in your room, make sure it's a quiet party. All right, what else can you expect um, from general information here? The Ship Central booth is the place to go if you want to find out about member info, um, talk to your regional leaders, find out about scholarship info, and more that SHIP does. So yes, convention is there, but if you want to find out what we're doing the rest of the year, stop by um, the Ship Central booth. Communication on site. Let's say you just have an emergency, you can't get a hold of someone, you just need help because you're traveling. Um, we do have an on-call phone. The number will be available for you, um, and this is available from Wednesday, November 1st, all the way through so Sunday, November 5th, and it's 24-7. A SHIP member will have the phone, uh, a SHIP staff member, I should say, and someone will get back to you and answer that and help you uh, with whatever we possibly can. Um, the Mercado, like I said, we have tons of new items available. Um, only cards are accepted this year, so hopefully you have a debit card or a credit card that you can use. Some weather prep. It will be fall in Salt Lake City, so be prepared. Uh, I've already looked at the 10-day forecast. It looks like there might be a little bit of rain and definitely cooler weather, so you're probably going to want to have a jacket or maybe dress in layers. And then our COVID protocols. We're still battling COVID. Um, people are getting sick with flu, everything else. If you can get a booster or a flu shot before you go, great, but if not, Totally fine, we don't ask for any of that. We do encourage masks, especially if you're not feeling well, um, but there are sanitation stations available. We will also have complimentary masks for you. We do ask if you're not feeling well, you feel like you're coming down with some of those symptoms, please stay in your hotel. Feel free to alert someone. You can even alert us on the on-call phone. We'll try to get you some assistance. 
All right, packing list. What do I pack? Um, so I made a quick list here of a packing list. We'll make sure and post this. Um, some of this information will also be in the FAQs on our website. Uh, if you check out our FAQs, um, most of the common questions that we get, we try to put all that information. So take a look at our website, um, but it's just mainly, you know, different things like your toiletries, pajamas, sweater for inside, maybe a coat for outside. Um, if you're going to go to the Star Wars Gala, you might want to have a dressier outfit. Um, and our closing celebration, it's party attire, so cocktail attire. Uh, feel free to dress up a little bit if you'd like for that. Um, and then if you're a lifetime member, pin, uh, lifetime member uh, like me, uh, make sure and pack your pin. We do offer a lifetime member lounge as well as a lifetime member reception that is exclusive to lifetime members, um, but you will need your pin on site. And then don't forget a backpack or messenger bag. Again, we will have one for you at convention, um, but if you have one that you prefer, feel free to bring that with you. All right, let's talk about health and safety. Uh, another fun fact for y'all. Did you know that SHIP just hit 16,000 members? And we are still growing. So I'm so excited to see where we grow to. Um, so this year we do have a new plan. Um, this is for um, your health and safety. Preparation is key. So that's why we're talking about it to let you know what to prepare for. This was requested by um, your ship board of directors. And this is to make sure everyone again has a safe and positive experience. And any final details about that will be in the know before you go email. So Keep a lookout for that email. All right, first thing, we'll have security checkpoints. This year's ship will have an enhanced security, um, which again, is to make sure everyone has a safe and positive experience. There will be four outer door entries to the whole convention center. I know it's really big, but you're gonna wanna make your way, depending on what hotel you're staying at, to one of those four outer doors. They will have a metal detector system. It is a pretty advanced system. It should get everyone through really quickly. You actually won't even have to take off your bag. You'll just walk through. Um, but just note that weapons are not allowed. Should they find one when you're on, you'll be asked to return to your car or vehicle um, or hotel. Um, they will not be allowed at this event. Um, you will be able to walk through the gated entry, as I said there's a light on it. If it turns red, the security staff member may pull you aside for further inspection, just like at the airport when you're going through the TSA checkpoint. And just make sure to allow a little extra time for entry. Although um, these are newer ones, they should uh, get everyone through very efficiently. Um, if everyone comes at the same time, it could slow things down. So if you're trying to get to that interview or a luncheon or something, uh, make sure and just allow a little extra time. Once you're in the building, you don't have to go through all these. It's just at those outer doors when you're first coming into the convention center. All right, safety plan. Should we have to evacuate the building? Um, alarms will sound, there may be some flashing lights. Uh, the first step is to make your way immediately outside. If you're in a workshop, you may have a volunteer committee member that'll lead you to guide you quickly but safely outside. Make sure to keep calm and walk to your nearest exit. Um, there will be people directing you. Ship staff and security and building staff will all assess what's going on. Then we'll alert when we can re-entry if possible. And then if they say all clear and we're re-entering, just make sure to do that safely and orderly. Hopefully nothing happens, but should a medical emergency occur, we do have EMTs on site. Um, you'll just have to check the mobile app. There'll be two medical rooms that will be available and they're open all show hours. So if you need any help, please feel free to stop into the medical room. If you can't get to the EMT, something more dramatic is happening, please alert a committee, volunteer member. Um, you'll see different people around. They can call for you and get you help as quickly as possible. If you're a bystander or whatever, try to help keep people clear. I know a lot's going on, you wanna watch what's going on, but we wanna make sure and get the emergency services to that person needing assistance and getting them help as quickly as possible. And then try to stay calm and know help is on the way. Uh, we've set up many checkpoints, we have people there. Um, so we do our best to hopefully nothing happens, but plan for it if it does. 
All right, you've had an amazing four days at convention. So now we're going post convention. So you're traveling back home. Um, you're probably gonna use your Lyft or Uber to transfer from the hotel to the airport. You wanna try to plan to arrive two hours prior to departure to make sure you get through the TSA security checkpoint as well as get your baggage all checked in. Don't forget to empty all your water liquids from your bag, especially if you have one of those refillable bottles. Make sure and get all that out of there. Don't forget when you're packing up, check all those drawers, all those nooks and crannies of your hotel room. Check out at the front desk. Um, some people, um, some hotels actually have it where you can check out from your room, but make sure to check your folio, which is the bill that they give you when you check out to make sure that there aren't any charges that don't belong to you. Nothing worse than paying for something somebody else did. Um, and then you're gonna hopefully take that overall survey that will be sent to you. Again, we really value your feedback. We take all of this. It's how we make improvements every year. So please, if you can answer that overall survey that will be sent by email after convention and then have a safe travel home. And we really hope that we get to see you in Anaheim again for our 50th birthday. All right, so this time we're gonna take questions. I'm gonna stop sharing and then we'll get those questions answered for you. Nicole, the yeah. most pressing question is, can you go over the golden ticket again? How do they Absolutely. get it? Or that, let's start with that, please. Not a problem. Uh, so the golden tickets, again, they're kind of like a fast pass. If you've ever been to Disneyland, there's a select space for people and this will get you into the career fair on Friday and Saturday morning, a little quicker than everyone else. Um, the golden tickets will be passed out by various ship staff members, as well as they will be in random workshops. So um, I can't tell you where they're going to be. Um, that's um, part of the fun, but they will be out. And um, if you're one of the lucky people who gets a golden ticket, uh, again, there's a select number of them. It will give you early entry on Friday and Saturday. Um, the times and all the information are on the golden ticket. And then once you get there, um, that's uh, the line once you're there, will get you in and um, they're only good to get into the career fair. Just remember there are not, once you get in there, if you have to go um, line up for one of the companies, the golden ticket doesn't work for those. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a lot of q and I'm gonna start with the first one by Carlos Oviedo. I am a professional member, made hotel reservations through SHIP's website, but I seem to be waitlisted. When could I know if I need to make other hotel arrangements? If you're on the waitlist, I would start looking to see if there's other options. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email housing at SHIP.org. Um, they might be able to help you figure out if you need to switch to a different hotel um, we are trying to find some additional rooms, but just know uh, we are using a ton of hotels in Salt Lake City, and uh, we've gotten as many rooms as we possibly can. So if you're still in the wait list, my suggestion is maybe check out an Airbnb or um, find some additional hotels on your own um, through maybe one of the travel websites. We did our best to get as many as possible, though. Okay, uh, we have a question from an anonymous attendee. Is it mandatory to be in the same color of business suite as told in the previous slide? Um, I'm gonna assume that you mean a uh, business suit. Uh, yeah. You do not have to have a certain color business suit, whatever you feel comfortable wearing. Um, there is no color preference that you have to have to your suit though. There are colors to our lanyards though, and whatever color you are assigned based on your ticket, that is your color lanyard and that helps designate uh, what your entry is uh, and your access to different things. Okay, uh, Sebastian Londoño wants to know if there are additional volunteer opportunities. All slots online are closed. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Well, um, yes, on our website, we do have some opportunities on site. Um, as we're getting some more, um, we're adding them there. So the on-site volunteer committee will be posting them there. And there will be a check-in desk in Hall E. 
So let's say you get on site, you couldn't find anything on the website, feel free to stop at the volunteer desk on site and see if anything has opened up and if they need any additional help. We do provide Mercado dollars, depending on how many um, uh, service opportunities that you're probably, uh, you uh, work at, we do give you some Mercado dollars. Okay, thank you. Uh, Josias uh, Moreno wants to know, when is the free glasses event? Oh, that'll be open um, starting on Wednesday. Um, like I said, there'll be a no before you go email that goes out with a sign up information from BSP. Okay. Uh, Fida Raman, is, is it still the first come first serve for registration and who gets access to the career fair first? Could you tell the process? Sure, I'm happy to go through the process for the career fair. Um, I know the last two years we've had a different process with some early access. This year, everybody, professional students, everybody, there is no early access. There's just one entry time. Um, that's on Friday. You can start lining up for the career fair an hour before entry. So on Friday, um, entry is at 8.30. That's when the career fair opens. So starting at 7.30, you're welcome to get in line in Hall E. Um, and uh, again, on Saturday, we open at 10 a.m. So you can start getting in line at 9 a.m. Um, the lines will be there. Um, there'll be people who can direct you, but there's no difference in lanyard colors or anything. Everyone's going in at the same time this year. Okay, there's a golden ticket question. We already answered that. <laughs> How do we get invited to the luncheons? Sure. Um, so the sponsors who have the tickets that are doing the invites, they will um, pass those out either in their workshops, maybe in interviews. It could also be at their um, career fair booth in the hall. Um, but if you don't get a ticket, um, go to the event. There will be a standby line if there's one in particular that you want to go to. Um, on Friday, for example, we have four different luncheons. We have the Shiptina's luncheon and three of our sponsor industry luncheons going on. So hopefully the odds are in your favor. <laughs> okay, um, what is the dress code for the different days events? Sure, um, most people dress in uh, business professional or business casual um, that way because they never know when they're gonna get their interview or what's gonna happen. So um, most people I've seen um, do some kind of professional, something that you would wear to the office um, every day. Um, but some of those people uh, do wear tennis shoes. So if you see your people in suits and wonder why they're wearing tennis shoes, it's because there, there's a lot of walking to do. So it's totally acceptable to have a suit with tennis shoes on. You'll see a lot of even the recruiters that way. How do the interviews work? Sure. Interviews in our interview hall are pre-scheduled. So that means a company has seen your resume, hopefully in the online career center because you uploaded it there. They will reach out to you and they will set up a time with you. If you don't get it before you're on site, then that's when you'll hopefully be talking to that company in the career fair center and they will hopefully um, set up an interview with you. If you've gone through the recruiter, they uh, like what you had to say, like what your, is on your resume, they will then set up an interview with you at that time. Okay, thank you. Will the checkpoints be before or after the entrance to the center itself? Uh, it'll be just inside the doorway of the um, wherever um, those are. Uh, for example, at the south entrance, you'll come through the doors and the checkpoint will be just inside the doors. Okay, um, are pepper sprays allowed? No. Okay. Um, is there any wheelchair assistance for the disabled or will a or with a back injury? Um, yeah, actually, as part of our inclusive, um, uh, I guess, platform that we do, many of the workshop rooms as well as events will have some seats set aside for those who might have a few challenges. You'll just need to let someone know. Um, and they can bring you up. So if you see and you're coming into a workshop, for example, there'll be a little sign on a seat that says, please save this um, for someone who might need it. So we have those already set aside, but it is more helpful um, if you can let someone know, a staff member, committee member, 
volunteer or something, they will help assist you and direct you where exactly those seats are. So you don't have to roam around the room and look for where they are. Okay. Um, should I reserve a hotel that's that says I'd be on a wait list or is it a big risk? You can put your name on it. It always helps to be on the wait list, but I will say I wouldn't count on it. I would find an alternative plan just in case. I would hate for someone to show up and not have a hotel room. <laughs> okay. Um, how do you sign up for the boxed lunches? Box lunches, you don't need a ticket. You're just going to go directly to those rooms. Uh, there are nine of them on Thursday. And uh, the box lunches will be available. There'll be um, people to direct you, um, but you'll get the box lunch. It's included with that session during the lunch. So it's kind of like a lunch and learn. So you'll have your box lunch and you'll be hearing a great presentation from one of nine sponsors that we have. There'll be nine different rooms that'll be going on at the same time. Okay. And no ticket is required for those. Okay, is the career fair access policy for grad students the same as last year? I don't know what that means. So if you want to email us at events at ship.org, I can try to get some further information on that one for you. Okay, uh, can professionals participate in the CTF challenge without competing? The CTF challenge, oh, I'm not sure which challenge that is, um, but all of our competitions, um, if you go on our website, it lists out who can compete and what they're looking for. Some of the competitions you had to sign up ahead of time. Um, so uh, those who are going to be competing, they'll be letting you know. There are two competitions that you can sign up for on site, and that includes our um, academic Olympiad, those are teams of three representing your region. So um, please uh, make sure um, to sign up for those. If you haven't already, then uh, sign up for those on site. Okay. Um, how can I get more and more pre-scheduled interviews? <laughs> well, I wish I had that <laughs> magic uh, magic uh, answer for you. I really don't have that one. Um, if you haven't done so already, I know we just had resume reviews, virtual resume reviews. Uh, I think those just completed, but uh, there really isn't any, um, <laughs> yeah. I see someone said, have a magical resume. I wish they did. Um, I wish I could help you. If you truly do need some help, reach out to, um, us, we'll see what kind of resources we can connect you with. Okay, uh, going back to the access policy, um, it's uh, John means regarding my question about access policy for grad students that was answered earlier, the difference in lanyard colors this year. Yeah, so the difference in lanyard colors, there's only, so if you're an undergrad student, there's only one color for undergrad students. There's no different colors. Um, professionals and graduate students will also, they'll be sharing the same color. So there's only just one color for those groups. There's no early entry color. There's just undergrads, everyone, whatever ticket category you are, everyone in that category will get the same color lanyard. Okay. Will there be parking for vans uh, for groups? We are 14 coming from West Point with 14 cadets. Awesome. Um, there is parking garage there at the Salt Palace Convention Center. Um, if you check our website on the travel page, that will have the parking information for you. Okay. Is there any way we can communicate with companies now, like before the convention? <laughs> um, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know that there's necessarily a magic way to get through to them um, other than their websites. Um, obviously, if you go on our mobile app and they've provided some information, uh, I couldn't tell you what companies are doing that. You just have to research if there's a particular company you're trying to reach out to. Okay. What would you expect the chances of getting an interview for a junior? Is it likely or do you really have to scout out a company to get one? You know, we do not just jobs, but there's co-ops and internships, all sorts of things available. So 
I don't know that necessarily tied to just a junior, uh, but there are definitely not just, you know, you're graduating senior and you're getting a job. There are other opportunities that are there. And don't okay. forget about our universities. They also, there are a lot of them have graduate programs. They're also trying to recruit you, um, maybe even get scholarships in your hands so that you can go to graduate school. There's a whole track on our graduate track, as well as our graduate um, area. Go check out one of those schools if you're really interested in pursuing that graduate degree, um, either master's or PhD. Okay, uh, Juliana wants to know, can we bring bottles? I'm assuming they're water bottles. <laughs> uh, if it's water bottles or refillable bottles, yes, you're absolutely welcome to bring those. Um, and like I said, we'll have water coolers around the building and you're happy to uh, refill at those. Um, so you don't have to just refill it uh, um, in the bathroom sink or something like that. We actually have water coolers around for everyone so that you can refill your water bottles. So metal or plastic are okay? Yes. Okay. What sort of questions can we expect in academic Olympiad? Because I'm attending for the first time. <laughs> Um, I can't answer that one, but if you would like to send your questions about that to, or send your information to events at ship.org, we'll get it to the academic Olympiad and we'll, um, we'll get them to the committee and we'll make sure and get you some answers from them. Okay. Uh, and then this is the last question on Q and A, and then we have the chat questions. Is there a, um, wait, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I answered that one. Anybody oh. who wants to, um, it, the answer was it's in the app. So the exhibitor, just for everyone listening, the exhibitors are all in the app and in the app, they've set up their, at their virtual booth in the app. And so if you go through those exhibitors in the app and you click into their booth, most of them, if not all, will have set up instructions for you. So some might not have anything, and some might say, please click this link and fill out this form and tell us more about yourself. And some might say, watch this video and we'll see you at our booth. So it's kind of up to the exhibitor to decide how they want to engage with attendees prior to the event. Um, but a lot of them are looking at your resumes that you submitted to the Career Center and they're looking at the forms if they have a form and you filled it out. And they're making decisions now about who they want to interview on site. So the sooner you can get your resume into the career center, the better. Um, the more eyes, the more people who are going to see it, because these are people who only have so much time before the event starts to review resumes. So we had recommended everyone submit their resume by October 16th. Um, that's not a deadline. You can still submit it. It's just that the longer that you wait, the fewer people who will see it. Um, you upload your resume in the Career Center. Um, if you look in the Q&A section of this webinar, we have 79 answered questions in there. And quite a few of them were, where do I upload my resume? So I think it's careercenter.ship.org, um, but it's definitely in there. Uh, so that, and then in terms of like, how do you, what can you do to help yourself get an interview? Like that's really the answer is to be, trolling through those exhibitors now and following their instructions, making sure that your resume has been uploaded, and then also plotting out like what's your strategy for the career fair day? What booths are you going to go to first? You're going to be waiting in line at some of them. So which ones are your priorities? Definitely just like get your, get your plan. Like who are your top five that you need to see and make a plan or maybe Think about which booths aren't going to be as busy with a huge line and think about visiting some of those um, so that you have a better chance at getting to talk to people. So I would just say like that's some of the strategies I've seen at least after, you know, six years of of career fairs. So um, I, I hope that helps. And I hope that was right, Nicole. All of that sounded great, Jen. Thank you so much for <laughs> chiming in there. <laughs> um, Nicole, there's some... Um comments on the webinar chat that I think we need to address. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skim through the ones that I think need to be answered. Uh, I've heard that if you do not land an interview from any of the companies attending the convention, then SHIP would refund the registration fee. Is that true? 
that is not true. Um, as unfortunate as it is, I'm, um, I wish we could help you, but um, we don't we don't always know. We don't control who's um, interviewing you. We don't control who's hiring. Uh, we provide the platform for all these con amazing connections to happen. But unfortunately, like in life, there are no guarantees. So um, sorry, but unfortunately, that is not true. <laughs> Okay, um, Jen, just to confirm, um, it is not too late for resumes to be submitted, correct? Correct, but that is I correct. Them the sooner the better. Okay, uh, question from Diego. If I am a volunteer and want to attend a workshop during my volunteer hours, can I cancel my volunteering? You can, Diego, or you can reach out and see if maybe you can switch to a different time if there's a really important workshop that you want to be at, um, or find out if there's a volunteer opportunity for that workshop so you can help get everyone in and then stay in and participate in that workshop. So uh, reach out to the volunteer uh, committee. Their information should be there on the website so that they can help you. If you're not able to find it, feel free to send us events at ship.org we'll get you connected to the volunteer committee. Okay, uh, Roxana Cruz just registered and she entered her wrong email. Uh, can she email events at ship.org to get it fixed? Actually, for anything with your registration, email registration at ship.org to get the most uh, quick service. Um, everything that has to do with registration, we have a few staff members following that email box and they're trying to respond as quickly as they possibly can. Um, okay, um, let me see. If we are both an undergrad and grad, will we get the grad color? It depends on what ticket path you signed up for. So if you signed up for an undergrad ticket and that's what you are in the system, then you will get the undergrad lanyard color. Um, okay. It's not one of those where you can be half in one, half in the other. It's it's a one or the other. <laughs> um, let me see. We got lanyard. So just, I just wanted to um say again about about the resumes. Um, be sure that when you upload your resume, that you check the box saying that you will be at the national convention because that career center is used all year round for everybody all the time. So. If you don't say you're going to be at the national convention, then they're not necessarily going to look at your resume in preparation for the national convention. So just make sure that you do that. Okay. Um, they Marissa wants to know, how do we know if we get picked for an interview from the resume that they uploaded? That's a great question. Um, typically, the company will send you an email or send you some kind of information if you're not seeing it in your email box, don't forget to check your spam just because I know uh, it may not be from an email you normally uh, get those from. So take a look there. Um, really just, um, it just depends. Sometimes they reach out via phone. Uh, it just depends on the company. So there's not really a standard way that they get in touch with you. Okay. Um, if there is a particular exhibitor or sponsor that we want to see, do we just line up and wait to speak to the on-site recruiter? Yes, when the career fair is open and you're in there, if there's a particular company you want to go to, most of them will have a check-in place and then they'll have recruiters and a process that you have to go through within their booth. So um, make your way to that booth and then check in there. Um, each booth uh, will have a different process. So um, make sure to uh, check in there and find out where you need to be. Sometimes they're set up by a discipline or types of jobs that you're looking for. It just really depends on the booth and company and what they have set up. Okay, if somebody has a specific question about a hotel, uh, about the rate that they thought they were signing up for, but got charged something else, who should they email? Sure. Um, all housing and hotel questions. If you want to send those to housing at ship.org, uh, someone will get back to you and try to answer your question as quickly as possible on those. Um, okay. I think 
those are all did you, most of the questions. Did I miss anything, Jen? Did you already, I, um, Adaham has asked, can you still go to corporate tours if they are already full to sign up? Is there a waiting list for corporate tours? That's a great question. There's not a waiting list, but if there was a corporate tour that you wanted to go on, uh, please check in. There'll be a table for where uh, the corporate tours check in. Um, I would come a little bit before that. If for some reason someone doesn't show or something like that, we may be able to still get you in. Um, hold on, we're getting new messages. Um, I see the question here of, um, can you change your, your lanyard color? So there really isn't a way to change your lanyard color. If you feel like you signed up under the wrong category, feel free to reach out to registration at ship.org. We'll try to help you ahead of time. But whatever category you're in at registration, uh, that is a category and that is the color lanyard you will get. So um, just make sure that um, that's uh, how you're checking in and what whatever your ticket category is. And if you don't know, check your... Uh, confirmation. And again, if you're really not sure what to do, uh, make sure to email registration at ship.org. So um, I'll also just say a lot of the questions we're getting now are questions that are already answered in the Q&A section. So we have 100 plus questions answered in there. So if you're asking things about like how does the golden ticket work or how like is there a coat check yes there is is there a bag check yes there is um I would just say like be sure you check that Q&A and also this recording if you joined us late and you missed all that stuff this recording will be made available on the website it will be in the convention newsletter this Saturday so please be sure you're reading that convention newsletter that has a lot of this information in it as well. And then it will also be again in the know before you go email that will go out on October 27th to all registrants. Um, so you will have an opportunity to get all of that information. Um, I'd see one question here, Nicole, that I don't know. It says, will recruiters reach out to us through the portal mobile app or email? Did you answer that one already? I didn't, they can potentially, but if they're going to set up an interview or something with you, they're probably not going to reach out through the mobile app. They'll probably email you or contact you via phone, depending on which way they need to set something up with you. Um, and then uh, at the hotels for people who got sponsorship from SHIP, are those around the convention center or is it far? And should we plan on transportation money for that? Um, all of those who are travel stipend students are either at a walkable hotel, depending on which hotel you're at, or there are a few that are a further away hotel and we are arranging transportation for those. And then um, Juliana, you said you're an economet econometrics major. Um, but that wasn't an option when you were signing up and that and there was an other, there was an other and we were, you were supposed to write in the other, but then there wasn't a box to do that. So we'll have to check our registration form on that. But that is not, that information is not shared with the recruiters. That is for us. That is for us to keep track of who is coming to the convention. So um, you don't need to worry about that, but thank you for letting us know. Yep. And I see a question in the chat. If I arrive on Friday, am I still able to get golden tickets? Uh, as well as if I arrive on Friday after nine, can I get into the career fair? Yes, you can. But the career fair on Friday only goes till 12 noon. So if you're not there before that time, you won't begin. But then you can be in there all day Saturday. And again, for the golden tickets, if you didn't get any prior to Friday, there will still be some opportunities on Friday to get some golden tickets for Saturday. And again, they are random how they get um, handed out. You'll never know when you're going to get them. That's the fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> so I'm also going to put the FAQs that are on the website. I'm going to put the link in the chat here. Uh, things like 
the when are the registration when is registration open the hours are in there the re that's also if you go in the app um, the hours that registration is open or in there. It's open Wednesday through Saturday. If you want to check the specific hours, you can do that um, in the app. Uh, and there's uh, like all the stuff about parking. There's an attendees travel section of the website that also talks about that. So if y'all haven't like explored the website for convention yet, I recommend doing that. It'll answer a lot of your questions as well as um, the app itself has the answers to a ton of these questions as well. Um, All right. I saw a really good question about what is the confirmation uh, that we should print uh, in my registration. I did not see a QR code or anything. Um, you will be getting another, uh, you'll have your confirmation email. But when you walk up to the kiosk, you'll be able to put your name in and it will be able to find you. If you also want your QR code just for quicker service, if you open up your mobile app and get into the convention mobile app, you'll see a place there where it has a check-in. When you click on that, a QR code, and that is your specific QR code that you can show when you get to registration and it'll quickly get you checked in. So if you don't have that confirmation email, don't worry, Not uh, everything's not lost. <laughs> um, all you'll need is your name, maybe your email, and there'll be a quick uh, check-in for you or try that new QR code check-in point on your mobile app. And yeah, just a reminder again, the mobile app, it's called Cvent, C-V-E-N-T. And if you are in the Android store or the Apple store, you can just search for that. And then you can, once you download it, you can open it, search for SHIP 2023, and then you'll be able to download that part, that specific app for them. And then you can sign in and you don't have to sign in. You can see a lot of information without signing in, but then you're going to want to sign in so you can set up your profile um, so that you can network with other people on the app. Um, and just generally you can set up, yeah, you can set up your schedule as well. So it's all things you can do once you're signed in. Yep, and I put the slide back up on the page for those of you who might come a little bit later. So if you wanna scan the QR code, it's up there for right for you right now. And then we're getting a lot of career center questions with the resumes. I'll just say we aren't career center experts at all. So if you're having an issue with your resume in the career center, I recommend reaching out to their help desk. They're, they're run separately from SHIP. Um, so they're not run by us. And, and we, none of us, because we're in events and marketing, we don't manage it either. So um, I, I do believe if you reach out to their help desk that they do answer you. So please give that a try. Awesome. And Monique Carrera, who would know because she's our chief external relations officer, says use PDF. Um, meaning if you're concerned about the formatting of your resume getting all messed up, you should be able to upload a PDF. All right, I think we answered all the questions. Let me know team if you think there's anything else I need to. If you're struggling to log into the SHIP app, please double check to make sure that the email that you registered with is the same email you're using. That's what happened to me. Um, if you're still having an issue, uh, Nicole, do they email registration at ship.org or somebody else? Um, just have them email events at ship.org. If you're having any trouble with the mobile app, email us at events at ship.org and someone will get back to you as quickly as we possibly can. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I hope we've answered your questions. We really look forward to seeing you in Salt Lake very soon. Um, everyone have safe travels as you're coming in. And uh, again, the slides as well as the recording will be available very soon. But thank you and have a great evening. Take care, thank everyone. Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. Bye. Thank you.